Today I am going to show you how to make a simple shell stitch square pattern. This will be approximately an 8 inch by 8 inch square. You will need an H hook. Going to simply start off by making a loop in our yarn, putting our hook in, and then we are going to chain 29. Right here is our chain 29. Before we proceed to row number one, please like and subscribe. We will now start row number one. You will skip the first five chains of the chain we just did. We will work four double crochets into the end of that. So there's one, two, three, four, five. We will work the four double crochets into the sixth chain from the hook. There's one, two, Three, four. We will now skip the next three chains and work another four double crochets in the fourth chain. So there's one, two, three. Four. Another four double crochets. We will skip three again and put another four double crochets in the fourth. So there is one, two, three, and four. Continue doing this until you get close to the end. If at any time I go too fast, please pause the video to catch up to me.
you can see here where you can obviously see the shells. I have worked basically to the end. What we do at the end is just a little bit different. We are going to skip these two stitches because we only have three stitches left. We will, in that last stitch, put one double crochet. And that there is for row one. Now for row two, we will chain one turn and in the top of each double crochet we will put one single crochet Okay, so there is a single crochet in the top of each double crochet. Plus there is two single crochets in this chain from when we started row two. The single crochet was row three. There should be 26 single crochet. Now, to go on to row three, you will need to chain three and turn your work. You will need to skip three single crochet and work four double crochet in the next single crochet. So here's one, two, three, and four. And this is row number three. This entire row, you will, after your four double crochet, skip three stitches, three single crochet, and work four double crochet in the next.
Keep working this row until your last cluster is on top of this last cluster. That is what your piece should look like so far. Okay, we again have the three stitches left here. What we will do is we will put one double crochet in this last one. So that was row three we just did. For row four, we will chain one, turn, and now we will single, single crochet in each across. You should single crochet 26. This is what you should have. We are now going to start on row five. We are going to chain three and turn our work. We will skip one single crochet and double crochet four in the next single crochet. So here's our one, and we will put four in. We will now start again on skipping three stitches and put in four double crochet in the fourth stitch.
I have a dog over here who loves to scratch his ears, so you're hearing him shake his head a lot. Okay, we are again working on top of the last cluster of the row. This is what you should have so far. Okay. We will skip three stitches again. And we will, in this third stitch, put one double crochet. Now, we have the sixth row. We are going to chain one and single crochet in the back of each double crochet across. You will put in 26 stitches. Once you have 26 stitches, go ahead and chain three and turn. This is where your pattern starts to repeat. You will repeat rows three through six until your piece is square. I am going to grab the piece I made earlier for this video so that I can show you how to finish this off. Okay, this is the piece I made earlier, and as you can see, it is fairly square. When I fold it into a triangle, it folds over pretty even. We are going to start by working on the edge. We are going to evenly single crochet 24 stitches for our edging 